When consumers buy a product, they're interacting with only one part of that product's life cycle. There's another part of the product's life cycle, post-consumer. Governments are responsible for residential recycling programs in their states, but it's taxpayers that fund waste management, paying utility bills and taxes. Some state governments now mandate that the producer of what we buy take responsibility for the recovery and cycling of a product and its packaging. This already happens with some bulky or difficult to manage products, like many electronics, mercury thermostats, batteries, mattresses, carpets, and paints. But now some governments want to have producers pay for the recovery and recycling of the stuff we already place in our curbside recycling bins. Packaging, metal cans, printed paper, plastic, glass, and cardboard. This is the heart of what's called Extended Producer Responsibility, or EPR. Why are governments considering EPR for packaging materials? Some say it's for environmental purposes, Others say it's to motivate producers to come up with innovative new packaging, and others say it will help push advancements in waste recovery and recycling technology. EPR is a theory. In practice, it increases and shifts costs, not outcomes, and it creates more bureaucracy for administration of our waste systems. EPR works like a sales tax. EPR increases costs for everyone. Consumers, government, and industry should share responsibility for their part in reducing the cost of recycling. An EPR scheme for product packaging and printed paper is being studied in Western states in the U.S., similar to what has already been implemented in the Canadian province of British Columbia. But do we know whether EPR is helping the province meet its recycling goals? Who actually bears the burden of paying for this new scheme? Are the costs producing the desired results? A new paper by waste and recycling expert Chaz Miller is helping answer that and other questions, and you can download it here. Subscribe to our channel for the next installment and more of what's changing and how we pay for what we place in our curbside recycling bins.